Hey guys, it's Sheridan. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a October favorites. So let's get on into the video. So I'm going to start with coffee favorites and I'm going to share with you all the fall coffees that I had in their ratings because it wasn't long enough for its own video. So the first fall drink is just a pumpkin iced coffee with stevia and almond milk. I would give this a 9.5. I love this drink. I got it multiple times. Next one is just a normal pumpkin spice latte. I would give it a 9.5. I love this drink. Next drink is a peanut butter cup macchiato. I would give it an 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. Next drink was from Starbucks, the pumpkin cream cold brew. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And also the pumpkin cream cold brew from Dunkin' was my favorite as well. It gets a 10 as well. And then the last drink that I tried for fall was the apple crisp macchiato. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Really good, really yummy. So as for coffees that I make at home, my favorite coffee that I made at home this month, and I'll continue through the month of November, is a salted caramel coffee. I use salted caramel coffee grounds from Aldi, and I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. It is so, so yummy. I use almond milk as the cream, and then I put salted caramel syrup from Dollar Tree. So that was my favorite fall coffee for coffees that I make at home. It was so, so yummy and I put like cinnamon and stuff on top. So really, really good coffee. I love it. That was my favorite fall coffee to make at home this month. The next thing on my list is Bible studies. So I'll get into all the Bible studies and things that I've been using lately. So the first thing we have this even if Habakkuk Bible study. I really love this Bible study. It's so pretty. I'm almost finished with it. I have this week and then I'll be done with it. But this Bible study has been so good. The book of Habakkuk is so good. And I just love it. And the Daily Grace Co. may still have their $5 sale going on. I don't know. You'll have to check. But this Bible study, I really recommend it. I'm going to be sad when I'm finished with it. But it's been really, really good so far. Next Bible study thing that I've been doing is this devotional that I'm almost done with as well. It is the Look Inside Devotional by Cambria Joy. And it's a 30-day devotional about ending war with the mirror and talking about body image, having a healthy relationship with food and exercise. And it talks about exercising for God's glory and eating healthily for God's glory. And that it's not all about your weight and it's not all about what you look like. But it's about what you're doing and how you're taking care of your body and trying to steward your body well. So this devotional, love it. I got it from Thrift Books, I believe. Yeah, Thrift Books is where I got it. And I think you would have to get it second hand because I don't think she sells this devotional anymore. But I love this devotional. It was so, so good. And, you know, I'm going to be sad when I'm done with this as well because I have a few more days left. But it's so good. And last devotional, and I'm not finished with it yet. It goes throughout the whole year. I did not start this at the beginning of the year, but it's a 365 day devotional. Really been loving it this month. I've been almost doing every day. There was a couple days that I missed in the month of October, but this devotional has been really good. And it is called Unshakable by Christine Kane. And it's been really, really good. Also, it's so pretty inside. I love this color that it is. Yeah. I love this devotional and I'm going to continue to use it throughout the rest of the year and maybe start it in January. I didn't do January because I didn't have it yet. So love this devotional. So the next favorite is boots and I'm so happy that I can wear boots again. These were some of my favorite boots. These brown ones that I got from, I can't remember, but they're by bongo or bogo whatever it's called i think it's bongo um so these shoes very very cute go good with lots of fall things and these other boots i have no idea what what they're by because it doesn't say 
but they have the faux little leg warmer things inside has a zipper buckle these are just super cute with lots of fall things and i love this and i'll get into some more fall clothing but i gotta go grab this stuff this past month i wore this hat like crazy i love this hat i need more hats like it even though i have tons of hats but i want to have other hats like this because i love the style and how it's made it is from kato i got it years ago and I just love it. It's so cute. And also, I loved this shirt this month. It's by Bonworth or something like that. And this was a gifted piece from, I guess you would call my great aunt uh, Betty. And her daughter Lisa gave us clothes. So shout out to them. I don't know whose this was. But I love this shirt and I styled it super cute. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. And I just thought that was a super cute outfit. Also this month I've been really loving beanies. And perfume. I was wearing this all month long in the month of October. It is the Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte Perfume. I love this so much it smells so amazing and I'm trying to switch to other perfumes this month but I'll probably still wear that a little bit this month as well but those are my favorite clothing items and perfume also we have the dove dry go spray that I got a free sample of and I love this so much I didn't think I would like spray deodorant, but I love this one so much. It smells so good. And I actually found it at a cheap grocery store that we go to in the big size. And I got it. So it was $1.99. And this is normally like 5 or $6. So now I have the big size when I run out of the baby size. Lastly, we will talk about my YouTube favorites. So let's get on into it. The first channel that I want to talk about is Amy's channel. I can't remember her exact channel name, but you'll see it on the screen here. So you'll know where it is, and I'll link it in the description box so you can see it. But I met her through a challenge on Instagram doing a Bible study. Now I watch her videos, and I've really been enjoying them. She's been doing it really awesome for first starting out her channel. Her editing is really good for first starting out, and her videos are way better than when I started, so I've really been loving Amy's channel. She seems like such a sweet person, and she talks about her relationship with the Lord, so go check out Amy's channel. The next channel that I've been watching a lot is the Arnold Sisters. I've been watching their vacation vlogs. And if you don't know who the Arnold sisters are, they're sisters. One of them was on So You Think You Can Dance. And the other one was on and still is on Dancing with the Stars. And they just post all kinds of videos and vlogs. And one of the girls has a cute little daughter. She's so cute. And I just really enjoyed their videos and been watching their videos a lot this month. So go check out their channel. So the next channel is Rosie's channel. She was one of the girls that used to be on Ellen when she was super, super little. And she has a YouTube channel now. And I've just been watching her vlogs and stuff. And it's really cool because for her birthday, on her birthday vlog, she actually got the same camera that I use. So that was really cool. But I just really love her videos. So go check out Rosie's channel. And the last channel that I really want to talk about is Sydney's channel. Sydney is one of the girls that runs the Instagram account, Big J Journaling, with her friend, Maylee. And we did a podcast episode together, and I just really love those girls. They're super, super sweet. And by the way, you guys will hear screaming in the background, because my nephew's being cray-cray. But anyways, what I was saying is, Sydney's channel has been really, really good for me to watch personally because she's been doing like these Faith Friday videos about like Bible studies and what I've been doing is watching her Bible study 
and studying the chapter because she goes through a few chapters and sharing her thoughts on each chapter and what she got from each chapter. So what I've been doing is I've been reading the chapter before I watch her video and then, you know, putting down my thoughts on paper and then hearing her thoughts on that chapter and then writing those down as well and then just pausing in between the video and reading the chapter for myself writing my thoughts down for myself and then writing her extra notes down as well so i've really really been loving her videos this month and she also posted her testimony she posted her baptism story and it's just really really beautiful and i just love what she is doing for the lord with all that she's doing go subscribe to Sydney's channel check out Big J journaling as well and those are my favorites for the month as far as YouTube goes I'm probably forgetting something guys honestly I can't think of it at the moment but that is all for my favorites so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe it really helps out my channel and I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys so, so much. Bye, guys.